<laughs> You're dead. What it do, what it do, guys. Today we got a GBG, and it seems like a lot of people are playing with Wandering Prince Sid, and everybody says he's fun by an anonymous decision. He's annoying, but fun. But the thing is, I'm not really a, a, a turn one cleave. I'm kind of a turn two, so. Mm, my Sid is not that fast, even though generally you want to go fast. But today we're going to be playing with Bologna only because one, she's getting a buff this week, this Thursday. And two, I wanted to try her out before I actually, I might switch her gear because usually after a buff, a, a balance patch, there is a, a free unequipped weekend. I decided to use my free unequipped from the Overlord collab just to use it up. I just want to get one anyway and I wanted to try Bologna on a counter set. Now this is what I put my Bologna on. Of course she doesn't have that much HP. Actually she doesn't have much of anything. I kind of just made her full damage and uh, if I got rid of the boots, but these boots are actually pretty good, but if I got rid of the boots and gave her like HP boots so she could survive long enough. She can counter because 90% of all the Bolognas, which is on like three of them, they all counterattack naturally. Like Seaside with her S2, right? She'll activate, you know, AOE pretty much Bologna S2, technically. Crescent Moon Bologna, if you hit enough time, she will AOE also naturally. But the original Bologna is the only one that doesn't do that. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, she has decent multipliers on, her, on her, all of her abilities, right? Her S3 is actually pretty, you know, decent, 0 0.9. Thing is, they're gonna take away the Sober from her S3. And uh, I think it's gonna put her S1. Her S1 is one to one, so one to one scaling. And it does 4% of the target, of the, uh, 4% of the target max HP, which is actually really nice. And her S2 is 0 0.8, but it does 10% increase her per one target beyond. So if there's one target, she does like 10%. If there's four, she does like 40%. But I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna add the increased damage naturally to her S2, right? Actually, her S1 just gets an extra turn from Soul Burn. Her S2 doesn't da damage down increase. We don't know how much by, I don't know how much. They did the same thing with uh, Lightheart Survey and it actually made her really good because they didn't really do much with her S3. Not her S3, if you counterattack, she kill you. And her S, I mean, yeah, her S3, her Razor Fan, 100% defense break. On top of that, increase the damage dealt when Razor is triggered by her S1, so. Wait, she, she get a natural damage increase and then she get another damage increase when she triggers the, the five focus on her S1? Huh. So I'm gonna go to GVG to see what we can get with Bologna. All right, game number one. Since, like I said, the balance patch is like in, you know, Thursday, because I'm pretty sure it's maintenance for this week. We're going with Bologna, Bunnies, and Tayu. We could have tried something else, but there's not that many DPS. And depending if we get contact from every single hit, Tayu's single target. If she tire attacks the Tayu, I'm going to cry. Bologna's AoE, but, you know, we can knock her back, maybe. And then bottom, we got Summer Sayer, Sid. Sid is still, I bulked him up. He don't have movement speed boots. He has HP boost to stay alive. And if he get targeted, he's just there to be an annoyance. We could beef, like speed him up, but I like I like him beefy. I'm a turn two player, like I said. And he's gonna get pushed up from uh, Summer Sayer and then ran AOE cleave. We gotta hope that one or two things happen. One, we land our bombs. Two, <laughs> <laughs> Karina don't, doesn't punch my team into oblivion. I'll make you kneel for me. How so go to S3. We do have the E for T that doesn't reduce the cooldown of everybody by one, but instead we, uh... What's the thing? Increase combat readiness when somebody uses a non-attack on top of his artifact. Here's the thing. I really... I know they're going to Okay, let's try to kill her as quick as possible. Please don't counterattack. Uh, uh. The quicker we can kill her, the better, you know, we get done with. Damn. I was hoping we'd be a slightly faster. We might put her on a speed set instead of counter. If Blow decides to, you know, counter once. A patient in need of treatment. I can do it too. I'm going to counter. Boom. They didn't really do much. <laughs> they didn't really do much. Don't. 
Can Bologna do this by herself? Can you put him to sleep? Resist. Damn. So I don't know if Bologna can do this. No, she can't. <laughs> I was like, can Bologna do this? Okay, we might put her to speed set as a counter. Or we try with a different unit. I agree. I agree. Everything is everything is technically oh my god, I got bashed up Pelusia. So we're gonna S3. And then we're gonna I mean we go to S2, then we go to S3 and hopefully we strip it off. On top of that, if he's the highest combat readiness, please don't do this to me. This dispels, right? Please dispel. Okay, I knew it was gonna happen. I was hoping she did another with her S1 to strip to kill the barrier so we can actually strip off the the immunity. But unfortunately did it. So we're gonna do this since we're not connected, it shouldn't proc Tayu's, you know, stun. Which is honestly nice. <laughs> The one place I didn't hope they didn't have a batch of the pollution. All right. Show me what you can do. We technically hit her, but Ren is dead. Don't go for it. The rumors were true. The mining speed is definitely helpful. But can we push her back? No, that's only on her. See, Sarah can't do this by herself. I did not expect her to have Bash of Pollution, which actually was me fault. Alright, game number two. We got Blitica, Sid, and Narwhal. I think Narwhal's like my second fastest AoE -er that I have at like 270. I'm pretty sure, right? She's like 270. Yeah, 276. And from looking from the top of the team, it is nobody that really fast besides probably uh, the rat. There's two rats on this team. And then bottle, we got Bad Kitty, Bologna, and also Akasis to get rid of all these debuffs that might get hit. But if the other rat decided to crit Bone like three times in a row, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry in a quarter. Slowly. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. Anymore. But this oh she has noble oh, she might as affect Riz. So we're gonna S3 this. Hopefully they don't counterattack. Please don't resist this. They're like 190 effectiveness. But Uh, we got one factress. It will end with the passing of a moment. I must say, do we? Here's the thing: if we, uh, she, what's the chance of her getting sealed? Well, it doesn't connect. Try not to feel so. So we're gonna seal her. We're gonna try to nom her, cause we didn't. So she resisted the restrict, or whatever it's called. Get. Oh, that's a unique artifact. Okay. Right okay. Right then we're gonna plant bombs, and hopefully they don't resist this also. Oh, she resisted it. <laughs> well, that's to be expected, but everything is going as planned. Why did I mean? Now we gotta kill her. Now we just go through this as quick as possible. Time to pay up for taking <laughs> Mommy is indeed. With skills like yours, you never stood a chance. You lost. Is this a flower? I hate Noble Oath. <laughs> Noble Oath. Ruined me. That's unfortunate. 
But they both have immunity. As is expected. I would say, do I save? I do this. I'm supposed to fight you. And we do this. So I'll save the S3 because she didn't get hit real much. This is a minus attack. And I'd rather take the barrier, so we eat this. We can strip this with S2. We didn't get a counter, but we did get a blind. The chance to strip is actually disgusting. So with the S3, hopefully get crit damage and greater attack for Belota. I got anti crit. Which is good. Now we get S2 to see if we won. Just what well, can we stun him? Resist now. Oh, this is a resist game. This is a resist. <laughs> Do we have enough? We have enough effect. Focus. I've been waiting for this moment. Go to S3, get a defense break, maybe. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Don't S2. Okay, I was like. <laughs> Don't S2, please. Can you even reach me? Well, Kasi's dead. But Bologna's about to pop off with this S3. It doesn't have that much damage. We might just put her on a like, speed set in all honesty. In all honesty, a speed set seems like the, the way to go. <laughs> She's dead. She's dead. Dead deader. It is. No. I find that Akatsis has that line, but... <laughs> Alright, game number three. We got Buddy Bologna and DDR. At the bottom, we got Landy, Bologna, and Domingo. Funny enough, this Landy, she's on this only because I ran out of artifacts for my archer. But she's on speed, crit, and kind of bulky. I think her booster, I don't know, she's just really bulky. Huh. I don't know if Lanny was naturally bulky or maybe I just have H a lot of HP. 1500 for just an archer. She's actually pretty bulky. So we just S1, hope we don't get Elbrus. Elbrus. I don't really enjoy this either. <laughs> I hope we don't Elbrus, Elbrus. And then we gotta hope for the best. Right out of me. Hopefully Karina don't kill everybody. She probably will, but let's hope that she doesn't. Do you smell that? So we're gonna that put them to sleep or try to, unless they get resisted. I hope you find it only has like 112 effect for this. I expect it for her. Trust me, boys. I'm a doctor. How will the battle go? And then we're gonna just S1 her real quick. We're gonna see if we can stop. She has Elvers. I'll say it won't proc for this single target, right? Please don't. Worry not. So we'll see if we can put her to sleep. Damn. I don't think we can win this one. <laughs> you wanna see? Stay away from me. Alright, cool. If we get a stun or put her to sleep, that'd actually be excellent. We got a stun. Oh, you'll make an excellent specimen. <laughs> I don't think we'd be able to actually kill her in time. Because she clears it off. But hopefully, the fairy tale no, we're dead. <laughs> ah, everything went bad. Everything went south. Everything went bad. 
But don't worry, Bologna. After you get a buff, I can guarantee you're going to be really, really good. Maybe. <laughs> don't you got champion choke for a chance to stun for S1? It is not bad, but we have buddies. I'll teach you a lesson. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, what a S3. I don't know if I want to see our push them this far, but since they all have these buffs, and they're gonna get more buff when uh, DDR put us to sleep or whatnot. They're just gonna S3. Just for more buffs so you don't have a chance to not strip off the one buff I don't want them to keep want us to keep. When this all runs its course. So you should have two buffs. Hopefully he doesn't strip off immunity. Good. <laughs> he got flawless dermot. We're gonna see if we can put her to sleep because the dual attack chance can ruin us. It can help us, but it can ruin us if she salvos like multiple times. Not enough buffs. You? You're just a puppy. Put it to sleep. Damn, I was like, that's a lot of effective, but he got, I forgot he got Garment. Because he has Garment and affected his buffs, and I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> extra 50 plus Garment gave it an extra like 30 plus. Right. We should be fine for this most part. Why this team easily did it did her thing? Why not surrender? Bah, bah. We won one game out of like five. That's not that's not bad. That's better than zero. Remember that guys. <laughs> as long as it's better than zero, it's good. <laughs> Don't tell my guildmates. Alright, it's preseason. Time to go bully people in gold. Or people that's also playing preseason. We're gonna play with Bologna just because. And he has a lot of that border looks pretty spiffy. I don't like that. Also, I hate that you gotta ban one. Did she limit us to the? Eh, I want to say gold, but still, his butt. Who'd be a hard count for Belota? Now he got rid of AOL, which is pretty nice considering that one. I didn't want to be. Well, if we get counterattack, then yeah. But if not, then ooh. Going to provide some <sighs> I should have been Zio. I will do my best. But we're gonna pick Bologna like we usually do, and then we'll pick Troublemaker. What if we bring all the Bolognas? Then I mean I gotta get I gotta get rid of Rada or pick Rada. Also, but who will work well in the back behind T Crozet? If I bring SSB, then SSB by default has a natural damage reduction. To the person in the back, right? Or if she's in the back, it's whoever's in the front takes 30% of her damage. So we don't need to put it behind T Crusade. Also, she might get focused. On top of that. This will be fun. Yeah, it's first fun. He got Sid. I let him pick his Sid. He's gonna have ignore, you know, effect res, but ignore effect res. Do I want a defense break that could hit Rada and a Belota? Or get yeah. He got rid of Rada. <laughs> Alright. Gang of Belota. Belota naturally has it. We we'll put her in the back. And then we let it Belota. Alright. This is not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking anywhere near good. Oh, I forgot about Bash of the Pelusia, though. I forgot I had that. <laughs> so he does have Soul Burn. Those who deny their I expected as much. My T Crozet, I kind of needed him to be closer. And hopefully we get, we get everybody. Uh, uh. Oh! Oh, uh, if we, if I actually, she was made for Banshee. I mean, not Banshee, but Waver. If I put her own artifact, the, the thing that did additional damage, she actually would have killed. But she's not on, she's not on Waver no more. I took her off of Waver. <laughs> she actually would have killed. 
They are beating up T. Crozet. T. Crozet is the only one. <laughs> T. Crozet is this. Mm. Are you in the seaside below the? T. Crozet is taking a beat. <laughs> Yo, T is doing his thing. It's gonna hurt though. This is about to kill us. Unless we 15%. The story's not missing anything. No more bombs, please. 15%. We did resist it. Which I actually do find funny. We did 15% that. You might so burn the stutter. 15%? No. I'll take down anyone who interferes with me. Damn, dude. Crozet is working hard. If you I say Crozet is working real hard though. I don't think she can actually do this unless, you know, so she magically survived. Do you know a good story? Here's a defense break. Do we 15% of the def the ignore effect or is the defense break? Or do you not have Mola Gores on his S3? <laughs> I That is a slight chance. It also come out of stun. That is no slight chance. That dual attack saved the saved the game. <laughs> that dual attack saved the game in all honesty. The dual attack get a defense break, <laughs> and it procs and it procs Blitica. All right, we're gonna bring T Crozet and Bologna. but it seems like. We're gonna take Bologna off a counter and put her on something like out of revenge. I did get like a 23 revenge piece. I said Ravi's coming around too. Let's see how this game goes. Now we bring like two big threats. Who go? Who's a big threat? It. What's that? I was say it's Delta. Who's a big threat into that team? Funny enough, Tayu can be a threat. Also, yeah. Betty Morrow can also. But Betty Morrow is a good. Betty Morrow can do anything except for S3, S3, K counterattack, S3, depending on how fast they are. The only fast one on my team is Maya. I'll be your opponent. Sorry, RB. I got rid of T. Here's the if he S3s. He'll proc, uh... I will not lose. Hey, we're up faster. I say, if he has threes, he'll proc Tayu. I mean, Betty. Don't be late. If he has twos, then he'll proc Betty Morrow. But the minus attack is really helpful. <laughs> The bias attack is really helpful. So do S3 for the, the increased speed. And hopefully we connect to Zahat magically. I think we did connect to Zahat magic. We did connect to Zahat magically. And then we're the S3. <laughs> we'll do this. I say this could end up bad because we're half HP. And let's push up Maya. And we'll just bunk. We resist it, but we knocked him back though. Hopefully she counterattacks. Or not. Alright, we got one game of Belota. As much as I would like to put her on a counter set, it seems like my luck with counters are atrocious. So instead, I might just put her on the speed and whatnot. And I have enough gold, so I don't really mind. This is a really good piece. This is a really good effect of this piece. Yeah, this is a really good piece in general for anybody counterattack, crit damage, and, and whatnot. It seems like I might put it either on a revenge set 
or just make her full damage. What do you guys think? I anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe, like, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Peace.